Hey everybody, Ryan here. Andy Vanna. Humphrey family Holsteins. <laughs> uh, what you doing there? Looks like you're raking. Right. <laughs> yes, we are getting ready to transplant all my little seedlings and we have to get all the sticks in the poop. Yeah, we, uh, like we said in a previous video, we fertilized the soil, we used manure, we actually bought some soil that was already fertilized and tried to make it as healthy as we possibly could just because it's the ground out there is just useless really yeah it's very bad so this was just the last step you raking <laughs> last step before the the little seedlings go in the ground and i just made my line that's to where we are going yeah all the way from the back fence to right there where you kind of made your line And mostly I'm just getting the big clumps of poop that didn't break down or didn't, well, just getting them away. Yeah, when we tilled, there were, the weeds came up and the dead sticks and stuff yeah. like that. So we're just trying to make it a little more, what do you say, clean, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> as clean as it's going to get. There they are. And there's little seedlings. And there's actually way more than it looks like, all right? Yeah, there is. I mean, how many tomato plants alone did you have? I had I had 12 tomato plants. Yeah. And that one little thing to your left, as you can see, there's 72 plants there just by itself. Oh, dang. It kind of remind us about what you started here. We have tomatoes, squash, lettuce, broccoli, cilantro. We have watermelon, cantaloupe, jalapenos. I think, oh, green beans, and I think that's what I've got so far. Did you say green onions? Oh, I have green onions and yellow onions. <laughs> right now, I'm just doing the tomatoes. I had to ask if you said it because I stopped listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah, so that's cool. I mean, I thought there'd be more to it, to be honest. You know what I mean? There's really not. You dig a little hole, you put it in there, and... And there it is. Look at that little thing. That's about it. And that's going to grow into a big old tall tomato. Well, we hope. Deal. <laughs> yeah. We could it, we could go out there in a week and have nothing. Nothing, yeah. <laughs> but it's neat. You put a little divot. You put the little pod in there. You make sure that the stems are sticking up. So eventually those will have to have some sort of metal cage or what do you call it? A thing? Not really. You know what I'm talking about though. The little yeah. metal I call it a trestle, but I don't think that's the right, right? I don't think that's the right term, but We should have Googled it. Yeah. <laughs> you put it around it so it can climb up and not bend over. Yeah, because tomatoes are viney, right? Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's That makes me sound really intelligent. They're kind of viney. viney. Ripe on the vine. Is it? <laughs> I like the little pat, little pat pat of the, the dirt. I like the me crawling on my hands and knees and poop just doing it Get, <laughs> getting dirty and doing it i don't think there's a clean way to really garden yeah well for me anyways there's not well if all. you wear knee pads and you're wearing closed toed shoes and you're wearing gloves and sort of yeah, that's too much work that's uh that's, you know, not, that's not how we do it in the country that's not <laughs> how we do it Uh, just FYI, I'm behind the camera here while she's doing all the hard work, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get the artsy shots of the plants and stuff. So you're just pulling some extra weeds and just trying to... Yeah, just extra roots and stuff I'm finding that I don't want there. And see, these are still tomatoes. So we have a bunch. You can see the difference in, in color of soil between the, the stuff that the pot is actually... In. Yeah, versus the soil that we have down there. Yeah. It's really dry. That's why I hope everything survives because our dirt here is just, ugh. Yeah. It's not good. Well, we put a Thanks for throwing that eh, you're very dirt on me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I, we don't have a lot of knowledge. You know what I mean? So we're yeah. kind of winging it. Um, you know, I said in the previous video that we, from what we know, it's like manure fertilized soil that's kind of all we really know you know worms <laughs> yeah but you are against worms 
But I mean, it's like uh, we did our best. We put the manure down. We put the fertilized soil down. We tilled it together. We watered it a bunch of times while it was, you know, before we ever came out here to transplant. And so, you know, we did what we could. It's worth yeah. it, it's worth a shot. We're going to learn from our mistakes. I'm sure people in this video, hopefully in the comments, will tell us what we're doing wrong. So as I was saying before I got rudely interrupted by the cows, <laughs> is, uh, no, the, part of our channel is getting comments from people who can give us tips and advice, and I'm hoping that in this video, you know, people could see what we're doing and let us know how they would do it better, maybe. Um, give us some advice as to, advice? That came out weird. <laughs> advice? Give us a little advice as to, you know, what maybe we could have done differently, what helps fertilize some dry texas dirt you know what we could have done better and yes people the flip-flops came off <laughs> <laughs> if i'm going to do it the right way i'm going to yeah do i it mean the you're right already way. crawling around in it you <laughs> might as well who needs shoes who needs them fill the earth <laughs> <laughs> feel the manure yeah <laughs> squish between so what are these these are my squash this is one of my favorite things about my garden. Yeah, it's one of my least favorite things I about know, your garden. I know, I think I'm the only one who likes the squash, but you know what? That's okay. You know what, though, having it at the ready, you know, having a bunch of squash in the house, you'll try new recipes, you'll try new things, and heck. Maybe. Maybe <laughs> there's something in there that I might enjoy. It'd be the first time? I don't know if I've ever eaten squash at all. I mean, I'm... I feel like I must have because I I don't I know I don't like it. Yeah. But maybe it's just Right now I am pretty much just picking the stronger one out of all of them because I planted a lot of seeds. If you go back and watch the other video, I planted a lot of seeds in every little pod just to give it a better shot at growing. And so what I'm doing is like the ones that are bent over or just don't look as healthy. I'm just going ahead and taking those out and then picking the stronger one. So I have the healthier one to grow, if that makes any sense at all. I got what you're saying. Maybe they will too. <laughs> it's like having a bunch of kids and you want to start a <laughs> and you and you want to start a baseball team. You pick the strongest. <laughs> You let the rest okay. ride the bench, no? That's not... No, I don't think so. You okay. give them all a chance. Bad analogy. <laughs> and people, I will go back and pick up the ones I threw to the side because I got to thinking, what if they grow and take over? So those will be getting picked up in. I, I think you already I. did, didn't you? No, I still have not. Oh, okay. What you got here? This is, let's see. This is my green onions. And right there is my broccoli. They're a little closer together. Um, like in smaller rows than the other ones. Yeah. I just, um, the green onions and they don't really need like green onions, cilantro and all that. I just go and pick myself. So they don't really need a lot of space. Like tomatoes and squash, watermelon, cantaloupe, they all need room because, well, they grow big. <laughs> hope the cannab <laughs> the cannamelon the cantaloupe. <laughs> I hope the cannamelon grows really big. That's that's our brand new hybrid cantaloupe and watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> so far, out of all my little seedlings, the watermelon was the worst one that I I have trouble getting to grow. I think I got four out of the ten I planted. Oh, really? Yeah. They just did not grow for me. I don't... Everything else took off, and, but my watermelon sure did not, so we might have to buy one already pre-growing and plant it and 
Can so you just sure. break open a watermelon, throw it on the ground, and and say, hey, grow? One way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Oh, okay. This this is my cantaloupe, actually. Cantaloupe? Yep. This is the cantaloupe. I tell you what. My daughters can't elope. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah, bad joke. Oh, sorry. My buddy Josh would have loved that joke. Yeah, well, you know, Josh isn't here. <laughs> no, he's not. This is a artsy fartsy little shot of the little seedlings now that they're all in the ground. And the poop. Yeah, yeah. I just saw some poop. <laughs> you had to talk about the poop. I you? did. You have to bring back the poop. I like that there's a, a little bit of a method to your madness. You have the little sticks in there telling you kind of what, what is what. and The sticks will probably disappear really quick, but it gives me a chance to learn where everything is and watch it grow a little bit and just make sure I remember where everything is. And don't go step on anything for sure. Yeah, some of them are so small that it's like you can barely even see them. Mm -hmm. But some, like those are really tall. And so, yeah, everything's in the ground. I'm gonna put some water on it. We're gonna water a lot. We're gonna water it a lot because we know that this, I mean, the soil's terrible. Yeah, soil's soil. <laughs> Your it's Texas came out. <laughs> yeah. Soul. So the soul's terrible. And the sun, the weather here has been in the 70s and 80s and just straight sunlight on it. So had to make sure we get plenty of water throughout the day. Yeah, we went from like winter to, to summer. Yes. I mean, we like, it's it just, spring just started and I feel like it's like, yes, today was 85 or something yeah, like that. it was hot. So we're going to get up in the hundreds here in the next couple of weeks, I'm sure. And, you know, so we got to keep plenty of water on here. Um, the trees shade in the evening, so that's that's going to help. But, um, yeah. Glad we finally got a transplant video made. And we'll keep you updated. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, please subscribe. You heard it here. Thank you. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.